call it purple slammer. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Hey everyone, welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids. We got a special treat today. We got the brand new Tank Yellow Jacket from Motive. So today we have Jimu back on the lanes. He's gonna compare this Tank Yellow Jacket against some of his favorite urethane balls. We got the Purple Hammer, the Zen Yu, and the Pitch Black. But let's talk about the star of the show today, and that's the Tank Yellow Jacket. This Tank Yellow Jacket features the Friction Mark V Microcell Polymer cover stock. Now, microcell polymer is a little different than urethane. It is more adaptable as far as changing surface finishes, and you can actually polish these up where traditional urethane isn't really able to accept that polish and, and come out real shiny. Now, on the inside of this ball, we have the flux core, which is a little bit higher RG and very low differential. So typically what you'd see in a urethane ball to help it get down the lane and not hook too much. So as far as RG and differential numbers, they actually match up very closely to a purple hammer. Now the purple hammer here obviously is the standard bearer for traditional urethane balls. It's gonna be really interesting to see how these two match up against each other. So comparing a purple hammer to a ball like a pitch black, pitch black here is gonna roll a little bit earlier and not create as much shape off the end of the pattern. So with the Zen Yu here, we're gonna see quite a bit more hook compared to these two. In our opinion, there might be a little bit of reactive resin in this cover stock. It does lane shine a bit more than most urethane balls and you can move further left and get the ball to recover compared to majority of urethane balls on the market. Now, in my opinion, I think this Tank Yellow Jacket is gonna be most similar to a Zen Yu. Now, the reason for this, the tank here with microcell polymer, it's not traditional urethane. It does create a larger footprint on the lane and it can handle more oil. So I think we're gonna see a similar amount of hook out of these two. The shapes might be a little bit different off the end of the pattern, but I think they're both gonna be stronger than a Purple Hammer and a Pitch Black. I did just get back from the PBA Tour Finals and I did see EJ Tackett throw in this one a bunch. He had a couple of them actually in his bag. Let's see if Gmail can make it look almost as good as EJ. Pattern today is 36 foot Stockholm. Shorter patterns, we typically see a lot of urethane come into play. And we'll see which one of these looks best on a difficult short pattern. Now because this is a shorter, flatter pattern, the differences in ball motion will really be that's enough in here. Let's send it up to Jimu on the lanes. All right, Jimu is back here with a terrible rack to start, but it doesn't matter. Today we are throwing the new Motive Tank Yellow Jacket. Interesting name. And as you can see, very interesting color, but we'll get to it in a little bit. Urethane is one of the most essential parts of my bag, and that's why I have four bowling balls here today. Let's start with my trusty control, which is the Storm Pitch Black. This one goes real straight. Doesn't hook too much, early and flat. Very nice shot there. As you can see, urethane, we wanna play tighter lines as the ball rolls early and doesn't really have a huge motion. It's very nice and controlled. One more with that. We'll move slightly left. That's nice. That's a strike right there. Pitch black, early smooth. It's been featured in four urethane videos with me so far. So you know I love it and it stands the test of time. Let's go to my favorite bowling ball, the Purple Hammer. Call it Purple Slammer. This ball is a pearl urethane, probably one of the best bowling balls on the entire market. Smooth, controlled. We will throw it on the same line to show the difference. It should go high. Good prediction. As you can tell, this ball hooks a little bit more than the pitch black. A bit later and sharper as well. One more with the purple hammer. I'm gonna move three left, try to strike. Short pattern, so it's gonna hook early. Yeah, 
very close, very close. We want to get our break point closest to the gutter because it'll give it the most time to hook into the pocket. That was a really good shot. We're gonna try it one more time. Not gonna hit it as hard. Purple hammer. That's really nice. Oh. Ring 10, maybe a bit too much angle, but still really good shot. We'll leave it there. Next up, we have the 900 Global Zen U. This ball hooks a lot, a lot. We'll throw it on the same line as that last purple hammer. Watch it go, Brooklyn. Oh, not as far as Brooklyn, but definitely high leaving the 4.6. That ball has the Meditate core, which is a very strong core. And it also has almost a reactive like cover stock. It's still urethane, but definitely out hooks the pitch black and purple hammer by at least the zone. So we're gonna move another three left off that last shot. This will be very nice. Oh yeah, I did miss outside very slightly. That ball is able to cover the amount of boards I need and gets back to the pocket. Very nice strike there. All right, let's test out the tank yellow jacket. This ball, very bright. It looks like it's gonna hook really early. I've thrown it only a couple balls and wow. Oh, you'll see. I'm gonna throw it on the same line as that purple hammer. See if this can hold the line. Oh no. It cannot hold the line. That ball felt like it hooked right about there at my feet. Usually urethanes out of box come with a really dull, fresh cover stock. And that's mainly to support the fact that the ball rolls early naturally. It doesn't want to have a shiny cover and make it uncontrollable down late. All my balls are drilled the exact same. It's 60 by four by 30. My most controlled layout, it's pretty strong, but it's what I like using as I am a high rev, high speed player. Let's have this ball not roll at my feet again. We're gonna move to where the Zen U was, which was three left of that last shot. Oh man, I'm gonna have to send it out right. All right, all right, okay. I'm angled and sending it out there by the arrows, but it's already hooking and getting into its roll phase by then. So that ball wants to take off and go. The heads are gone, meaning no oil right in front of me where this ball is hooking so early. I'm gonna try to delay that hook a little bit by adding some loft. Watch out. Let's add a little loft. Very slightly, but... It was a bit closer, a bit closer. Still hooking quite a bit. So I think I'm gonna have to move even further left and get that loft going. Wearing my Team Canada jersey because in less than a month, I'm heading to Peru for the Pan Am Youth Championships. Uh, we're gonna be bowling on long, so I don't think I'm using this or any of these zero things, but it's good to try to figure out the arsenal. Move another three left, Loft City. All right. Oh! We were almost there, we were almost there. I kind of lost it at the left. I kind of lost it at the release. However, we were very close on that last shot. Second mode of review ever. Let's get a strike. Do it for the fans. Oh yes, oh yeah. Oh. I knew it right away. That was a very nice release. Nice loft, got it to the spot, rolled early and rolled right into the pocket, getting us a nice high flush strike. But just for comparison, I'm gonna show you what happens if I threw my purple hammer on that same line. And I thought this ball hooked pretty good, but we'll see. That's exactly what happens. If that ball doesn't grab the lane right away like that tank yellow jacket does, my ball is gonna go straight to delay the hook so much that it might not even see the friction. Halfway through the vid, question time with Jimu. We have bowling balls from the Storm family, we got the Brunswick family, and now the Moda family. So I'm very excited that I get to throw all three of these brands, but I wanna know what is your favorite bowling ball from each of those families? 
For me, Storm has to be the phase two. Love that ball. From the Brunswick family, it'll be the purple hammer that you have seen today. And finally, in the Moda family, I have to say the Venom Shock. EJ Tackett ball. Love it. But you let me know down in the comments below. Probably six boards of hook more overall than the purple hammer. Maybe another nine boards on the pitch black. Maybe closer to five boards on the Zen U. We are gonna try to move right, kill the hand, meaning less revolutions, and try to go as straight as we can. So I'm going to move back to where we were with the pitch black. Kill the hand here. That's, that's a killed hand right there. That is probably at least maybe 100 revs down from my normal. But I kind of liked it. It kind of controlled the amount of early hook and had a nice smooth reaction down late. I am not sure if I can repeat that, but I'll try my best. Oh! Definitely not. It's just so sensitive. As soon as it hits the lane, it wants to hook so early. If I took the early finish off, maybe you bring it up to like three or 4,000, maybe even compound, but then again, it's not gonna look like a urethane reaction at that point. Let's have some fun. Instead of the right side pocket, we're gonna hit the left side pocket, meaning a backup ball. Oh yeah. It looks way better on the left side. Anyways, let's send it back to the shop. Jimu is back from the lanes. Urethane bowling balls. I feel like I've said this many times before, but urethane is essential to the game of bowling, especially for a two-hander like me. And not only me, I know Barks agrees with me, the lefty, but I see more and more urethane being thrown every day I bowl. Now let's go through the line of urethane bowling balls. First up, we threw the pitch black. The storm pitch black, this is my second one. I love it so much. It rolls early, smooth, and it's actually the ball I can play the tightest and straightest angles with. Moving on from that, I was introduced to the purple hammer and I love this ball. Also my second purple hammer. This ball allows me to shoot the highest scores I can. I've gone two 300s with it. I can consistently find more mist room with the purple hammer and it feels like such a controlled shape that I can consistently just execute and throw good shots. Moving on from that, we have the Zen Yu. Zen Yu hooks a lot more than the Pitch Black and the Purple Hammer. As established in this review and in previous reviews, this ball can cover more boards, has a lot more overall hook, and can ping off the dry boards a bit harder. And finally, we got to throw the Tank Yellow Jacket. Yellow as it is, this ball hooks real early and real flat. You could probably see me struggle for the first little bit as I tried to find the right line for this ball. I had to end up moving 10 boards left off of the pitch black just to find a line where this could strike. And even then I had to loft it a few feet onto the lane, missing the front head oil, and it was really tough to get it to strike. Killing the hand and just letting the ball roll by itself, we did find one nice line that gave us a pretty nice strike. So overall this ball, is a very interesting shape that I've never seen before. To be honest, it doesn't really match up with my style that well. I don't really like seeing the ball hook at my feet and just really early in general. I find it a bit hard to control. I can't see the ball really get to the break point and enter that roll phase. However, as Barks mentioned in the intro, this ball has microcell polymer, which is different from true urethane. That means this ball could be more adaptable to changing its surface. As I said out there, I might try experimenting with this ball, put some compound on it, maybe bring it up to 4,000 or something, just to have the ball delay the early hook and help it get past that super early roll. It's not a ball that I'll never use, but I'll definitely need to find the right situation to throw it. It's really hard to beat balls like the pitch black and the purple hammer for me. They're staples in my bag. I bring them everywhere I go. And until I find that urethane that can beat the purple hammer, this one's staying in my bag. Shout out to Motive for sending us this ball. I'm really starting to like the Motive bowling balls. I got the Venom Shock, the Black Venom, and now this tank yellow jacket. Please keep sending them. I love comparing it to the other brands and see what motives got in their arsenal. Speaking of the multiple brands, don't forget to answer my question down below in the comments. What is your favorite ball from every family of brands? But you let me know down in the comments below. I'm excited to see so many different bowling balls. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next video.
right. Very slightly, but. All right. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. 